So now we're what? ready to get caught. I've been wanting to take a shower, but I can't. You get to take a shower tomorrow. You're good. No, you're doing too I want to try it today. No. This is I good. need a break. Go ahead. Come on. Go ahead. Come on. No, you're good. Oh my goodness. It has been a very long day, but not terrible. Okay. Long, not terrible, but definitely a lot. <laughs> we had to get Mark set up at the camp because he's going to be staying out there like overnight in the tent while we, the mamas and the babies, stay at an Airbnb. Originally, when I booked this Airbnb, I thought we were going to be like 30 minutes away because the area that we're in right now, there's like nothing out here. Like when I say there's nothing out here, there's nothing out here. So there wasn't like a lot of options when it came to Airbnbs, like truly. So I did my best, okay? And honestly, the fact that we got such a nice place as is, is like a miracle because there's literally nothing else in this area that compares. So initially I thought it was gonna be like a 35 minute ride. Turns out it's a little longer, okay? We about 45 minutes from the campsite. So yeah, that means that every morning and night we have to travel from here to the campsite to be with everybody. And we're trying not to make it a thing. I genuinely feel guilty about it because I didn't want it to be such a travel. Like 30 minutes was even pushing it, but you know, being from Dallas and living in Dallas, like it takes 30 minutes to get anywhere. So like, that's not big of a deal, but like, 45 minutes two times in a day um and then at the same time like my friend Ashley is staying with us with her kids and both her husband and Mark my husband are staying at the campsite so they have to drop us off and take us like back and forth basically from the campsite to here um and so that's what they did tonight and they just made it back to the campsite so it's even more for them like to be traveling for almost two hours a day twice is a lot I know it's a lot that's a lot so now um, Ashley and I are like okay we could dry up ourselves with the kids um the daytime is no issue because the ride is smooth like most of the way but it just gets so dark out here because we are really like in the outskirts like we are like in forest and stuff and so the nighttime is when it's going to be a little challenging but I think once we get more acclimated with the area it'll be better but yeah so I think that it'll be interesting how it all kind of works out this week because there's no other option like we did not bring enough like air mattresses and, and tents to house all of us together I mean we could all like two of our families could fit in our tent because we have a 12 person tent that Mark and our friend Ron are staying in right now Mark actually took MJ my youngest son with him tonight so we gonna see how they do okay we gonna see how they do um tonight and then we'll go from there tomorrow so i don't know we're gonna see how it works out because it's kind of a lot and this is our first time camping <laughs> oh gosh so yeah we are also going to see how my hair does this week because it is definitely more humid here in arkansas than it is in Dallas right now but my hair is already about a week old usually at this point I've still got a solid like week in it before I have to wash my hair in this humidity I don't know I don't know if we'll make it all week we may have to pivot and go curly so I'm just pin curling my hair now because this has become my new nighttime routine because the last time I showed y'all how to sleep to preserve your roller set, I did pin curls all over. But now, since then, I discovered 
that I like my results even better when I do three rollers on the top, which I'll show y'all how I do that. Because the, the rollers at the top make sure that my bangs and like the top of my hair have a bit of volume, but also like a perfect curl. Because that's always the struggle with pin curls. Sometimes they're not perfect. Like most of the time you can get them pretty good, but like sometimes they just act weird. But doing the rollers on the top, it's like a sure thing that everything will look the way it's supposed to the day the next day. I'm obsessed with this bathroom. I could just stay here for the week. Like just in this bathroom. It's just gorgeous. This tub over here is just giving me life. I'm like if I could confirm and know that I was going to have like time to hop into it tonight I would but I'm just exhausted and I don't I don't feel like fighting no kids in case they come in here um I'm so I'm just gonna shower tonight but I'm definitely gonna be in that tub this week sometime and obviously it's great to have a tub too for the kids so everybody can get their nighttime baths so honestly I don't even think technically I can say I'm camping. I'm more so just visiting the campsite throughout the day, which was our happy medium because I just, I don't know, I've never been camping. Well, I've been camping when I was like way younger, like when I was a kid, but I just didn't feel super confident camping with my little ones yet everything was super new like we tried to get them to see kind of like how they would feel um camping in like our backyard so we like tested it the other day and they didn't make it <laughs> they were all excited um as mark was like setting everything up and then when it was time to really like lay down and go to sleep because i was gonna stay out there with them too because i was like if if they're good, then like low key, I could be good. But then it was like when it was really time to lay down, they were not, they were not prepared. They were like ready to go inside. So I was like, yeah, we're not gonna, we're not gonna test this out with no other options. Cause now it's like tonight or while we're here, anytime the kids do want to go stay at the camp they can but our default would, will be this airbnb sorry y'all my camera keeps like sliding i have it on just like these sticker things also mentally i feel like because it's so much like unknown i'm spending the time that i need to spend to like organize our things so like i just took all of our clothes out and put them away somewhat. There's not a lot of storage. So I just kind of placed the kids' clothes kind of here and there in piles to where like I could get to them. But I'm also like choosing like, okay, what is everybody wearing tomorrow? <laughs> so that I can have, you know, a few less decisions to make in the morning because that's one of those things that like makes me makes my anxiety like go really crazy is when it's like a very new environment and I just like don't have like a plan. I feel very destabilized in those moments. So I'm going to help myself by choosing everybody's outfits tonight and then having kind of like a game plan for the morning. Like what am I gonna do step by step? Because you know, Mark's not here. My younger sister Madison is here, so she's, which is helpful, thank God. Um, she's out there with Micah and Sarai right now. We all drove five plus hours today with little kids. Not an easy thing at all. So all the kids are like kinda restless, cranky, all the things, so. 
in those situations, you just got to do what you can. Try to make everybody as comfortable as possible. It's a new environment for all of us. So we're all just trying to, oh damn, I put the wrong one. We're all just trying to do the best we can and giving everybody some grace, including the adults. <laughs> but overall, it was a five hour drive, like I said, and it was not bad. It really wasn't. Um, the kids did decent in the car. Girl, no, you just went to the bathroom, hush. You just went to the bathroom. No. No. Go watch the movie, Sarai. We're done. I'm gonna go take a shower. Well, first I'm gonna open the door and let Sarai use the bathroom for the third time in the last two hours. And then I'm gonna take a shower and then I'm gonna lay down.